What's going on, you guys? Slim here at San Jose Regionals with a familiar face. What's going on, Brandon? Hi. Yep, and you just <laughs> did what? Um, I got second at the San Jose Regionals. I was XO until the last round, but then I lost the last round. Okay. So, because he had a draw, he won it, but I still got second. Yeah. Well, you did your thing, man. What did yeah. you play? I played uh, Kaiju Zodiac. Everyone was playing it. Like, in Top Gun, every single person. Makes sense. All right, well, let's That's see what you played. All right. On that beautiful um, Zodiac yeah. map, uh, Zodiac map, by the yeah. way. Yep, yep. Uh, two maxis, it's the best card. You want to draw this like all the time. Like, actually, I cited out going first sometimes now, but I used to not even do that. Like it's just this is how you win one second. You need it. You need that card in every deck. Uh, three Ceratops, a Kettenberg, very standard. It's not a normal summon, so you have to play it. You want to be able to extend past your normal summon. Uh, three yep. Momorad, broken. Three Viper. You can play two of this, but I chose three just so I didn't really think of like a 40th card I liked better. It wasn't my 40th card, it was third one. Yep. Uh, two of this. You want to be able to summon it from your deck for sure from the spell. It helps you draw so you can get more uh, traps, more higher chance for traps if you have a lot of monsters. Because you always want to have some traps in this deck. Right. Uh, three Kaiju. Kaijus. Uh, I don't play the other 33 guy because I don't want to ever be in a situation where my Kaijus are going to crash. That's no good. So I played the two highest ones that aren't the same and then the two lowest ones. Makes sense. That's the purpose of that. Uh, three tankies and beautiful Duelist League Red. Ooh. I think it's better than Ulti. They're harder to find. Nice. Um, three Barrage, Broken. Three Twister. It's really strong in the mirror match especially because like, if you go first and then you hit their traps when they go second, you kind of just win on the spot. Like that was how I lost in the, the game one is he had Twister going first and cleared my board and then uh, well, I cleared his board, and then he twisted my traps in the end phase, so that's how I lose really in the last round. Uh, three Slumber, it's really, really good right now because it plays around D-Barrier, and it gives you guaranteed control of the board, so you can just play this and set traps. Even if he maxied you, even if he D-Buried you, that's how you beat those cards. So in second... Okay, hold up. Three of this. I have not Storming seen this in anything yet. Okay, you gotta talk about that. This thing is crazy. This, like, this literally no one expected it, so it won me, like, three or four games, maybe. Like, these cards are really good in the format right now, though. Like, I saw the... The world champion Shunsuke Hyama was citing a uh, normal Mirror Force, so I picked up on that. I'm like, hey, Mirror Force cards are pretty good right now. There's not much spell trap removal in the Zodiac deck, and that's what everyone's playing. In their Monster Core, they don't really have no spell trap removal, like, except for the face up. So I figured I'd play these, and they'd be hard to play around. And I can bounce my uh, Kaijus with them and my Flying Seas with them, so there's some synergy there. Uh, they, they were just great. Actually, one time I was playing versus Minerva, and he had like uh, Omega, Minerva, Emerald, and one of my Kaijus, and I storming them, and he just lost on the spot. He like decked out next turn. <laughs> he thought he was going to win. I just whipped the one of these. He, I had two after he hit one of them. I flipped the second one. Uh, three strike. It's a good card. Uh, not much else to say about it. It's not so good going second unless you have slumber, but it's too good not to play. You needed to beat the, the pendulum decks more often. There were still people playing metal. Yeah, there were a ton of metal. Plus metal for zoos. So. Three deep barrier. Yeah. Very broken card. You trap no, nothing to say about that. Yep. The, trap. the trap. I think some people weren't playing this. You need to play this though. It helps your uh, grind game get larger. I use this a lot. Like yeah. the Zodiac mirror match grind game is just a bunch of shuffling back your X seeds and like having a bunch of stuff. And it's, it's kind of like Necros actually. Very grindy ass. Shuffling all the time. Okay. Makes sense. Alright, all right. Extra, yep. extra Uh Two of all of the yep. XE's monsters. Yep. All of them are pretty good, except this one. I didn't really use attacking directly yeah. much, but I mean, you need two of all of them. I think two of all of them is better because compared to like the hybrid decks that just play one, I can still have um, the Viper in my hand, and like if they cleared my board, I have to use Viper. I can still summon some more XEs and go off. And I shuffle back my two rats and get more value like that because I have the full combo in my deck still. Uh, two Emerald. This is actually really important. I thought I might not need to go two, but in the matches against the the good players who were playing this deck, I really had to go two sometimes because. It's just like, this is what you want to summon if there's nothing else going on in particular, like no OTK opportunity or nothing like that. It's, it incends your grind game. It's all about extending the grind game in the mirror match. Uh, Samurai makes OTKs with the, cow, the Kaijus. There's like a lot of 8,200, 80,000 setups with Kaiju Slumber in this card. Uh, Castell. I was going to play Utopia Lightning, but I wanted to play the second Emerald, so I put this in. I, I actually kind of missed Utopia Lightning because I didn't make the next card of my extra deck much, but it, it, like, I, it was versus Cosmo was when I missed it, but I won versus Cosmo anyway, so it was fine. Rhapsody. I didn't play Informers at all today. Yeah. I don't know. I did might you, cut this. Did you ever Rhapsody with Samurai? No. <laughs> I, I didn't play Informers at all, so I never made this. Uh, Invoker, Totem Bird, Terratop Target. So you don't need Breaksword because this can uh, negate a spell trap the Breaksword was trying to destroy, so not necessary to play that card. 
Unless they run up against Dark Law or something. Right. Who's playing Dark Law right now? So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zoo Nation, side deck, baby. Yep. Yeah. Three anti spells. Still really good. Still beat Pendulum. You can actually side this in the mirror match, too. I did it sometimes. Depends what their build is. But versus Kaiju, if you play this, they can't do Slumber. So I guess there's some value there. It's not that great, though, in the mirror, but it's. Yeah, it's for Pendulum mostly, of course. The three Lantias, I wasn't messing around with no influence, because I know the deck's good, but no, no one showed up with it. There was, like, only one person top of it. Yeah. I think he, went, he was, like, the only person who was playing the deck, really. I'd, ne I'd never played Versus either, so I never used these. Uh, three Chalice, it's for the Mirror Match. It's also for the next card that people side a lot. Uh, you can, in the damage step, negate their... Um, the the Drancia, so sometimes it comes up like then damage stuff. Usually just like when they try to pop you, you just chain it and then you can't do it. Or you can get artifact scythe. That was actually what the guy was I was playing around eight was playing. He played artifacts. And actually it didn't win the game because he had D barrier two, but I, I, I hit his uh scythe with it, so it was good like that. Uh three flying C. Chalice negates flying C, that's another big reason I played. This card is really, really good. Because in the deck your only natural out is the uh the, the barrage, the one that destroys a card, so you need more outs of this somewhere in your deck or else you're gonna lose to this often. It's kinda like, I didn't choose to play Ghost Ogre because I felt like this card just a better Ghost Ogre because Ghost Ogre in this card, it's like either you instantly win or you, it didn't do anything and they just have the out or they have like, let's say I like Ghost Ogre there, Momorat right on some and they just go barrage. I'm like, oh, yeah, it didn't matter. Makes sense. Um, then so played some one ofs on the yeah. side. This is their at one. This is like another chalice kind of negates uh, flying seek. You just book it, and sometimes you can dodge chalice with this too. So it's actually kind of better than chalice. But we only have one of this, or else I play more of those. And these are for going first. They're good cards like strike and warning. Awesome. Like I mean strike. <laughs> awesome. All right, man. Well, congratulations on getting second place, and we will see you in YCS Seattle. Thanks. And that's when the deck profile will be put. And Atlanta too. I'll yeah. see you there. All right, man. Thank you for watching. Yeah.